Are modern pterodactyls tactile? In other words, real physical animals? Stay with me until near the end of this video to get a sampling of brief sighting reports from the United States. In 2019, I visited Stansbury Island in the Great Salt Lake of Utah, the same island mentioned in a newspaper article published in 1903 in the Pittsburgh Press. I saw nothing like a, quote, terrible, nameless, unclassified creature of the animal world, unquote. Ordinary cows, yes. But in 2015, my wife and I met two eyewitnesses and I interviewed them face to face in St. George, Utah. I found them highly credible as they described their encounter with the huge flying creature at night in Grantsville, Utah, which is only a few miles south of Stansbury Island, where an old newspaper article mentions a huge dragon-like flying creature. See the video Pterodactyl Sightings in Utah, which is also on this channel. The flying creature seen by these two young men was not just in their imaginations, for the nearby farm animals were greatly alarmed, making noises that showed they were afraid. When farm animals are afraid of a predator, you can be assured that the predator is real, not just in human imagination. Dwayne Hodgkinson was a flight instructor in Montana in 2005 when he was interviewed by the cryptozoologist Garth Gessman. But in 1944, Hodgkinson was a weather observer for the field artillery and stationed in Finchhaven, New Guinea during World War II. He and his army buddy witnessed a huge pterodactyl take off from a jungle clearing. He later reported that the length of the tail could have been at least 10 or 15 feet. You can get details about his sighting in 1944 as you watch other videos I've uploaded to YouTube. The point for now is this. The huge flying creatures taking to the air while flapping its wings impacted the grass in that jungle clearing. It was huge. And uh, it, as, it, as it took off, the wing, I, I, I estimated the wing flaps were maybe about one or two seconds in, in frequency. And the brush all below was totally swaying from the, from the downrush of the air from these mm. wings. In other words, it was not some mental or spiritual phantom from another time, but a physical animal in our world and in our time. Its wing flapping caused the grass all around it to be flattened down from the wind it produced. Now for some relevant sightings in the United States. Yeah, it was July of 2018. And as soon as I took a right and started going down the road, I looked up and I saw a large flying creature and it immediately drew my attention because its wings were not flapping like a bird's would. It was rolling kind of like a stingray in the ocean. Yeah, I noticed it was different than anything I'd ever seen. It wasn't just a regular up and down, it was a rolling motion. It appeared over my shoulder in the windshield here of the car. and it eventually moved over towards a tree line about a hundred yards off to my left and I saw it start to dive and so I continued to watch it. I noticed it about a hundred feet, two hundred feet or so above me and as it moved over it went about a hundred yards away from me into a tree line and it slowly dove down and landed at the end of the tree line.
Then I made a turn around and I started driving back. And when I started driving back, all of a sudden I saw in my rear view mirror this big black creature fly across. I saw it for about half a second. It was, I would say a little bit smaller than the first one, but I got to see its face good enough. I saw some teeth in its mouth and I saw a large eye and I could see that the wings were bent at angles in the front and were curved in the back and I didn't see any feathers. 